This is in the Washington Post of executive action to register gun owners and obviously begin confiscation and the harassment of Social Security holders uh, and their Second Amendment as well. This is draconian. It's the biggest attack on the Second Amendment we've ever seen, just like it's the biggest attack on our energy systems, our military, our borders, our sovereignty, our families. This is the greatest globalist assault ever. That's called dictatorship, but, you know, big deal. I mean, he is part black, so it's okay. Uh, in response to the latest mass shootings during his presidency, in response to that, because he's so sad about 10 dead people, President Obama is seriously considering circumventing Congress. Ooh, that's a nice quote, circumventing Congress. So they're just desperate. Obama, <laughs> these conspiracy theorists, these whacked out kooks, not coming after your guns. <laughs> He's going to announce it today. The bills are being introduced tomorrow or on Monday. Obama weighs expanding background checks through executive authority. The Washington Post, in response to the latest mass shooting during his presidency, President Obama is seriously considering circumventing Congress. Oh, that's called dictatorship. Just calmly in the paper. With his executive authority, that's called dictatorship and imposing new background checks requirements for buyers who purchase firearms from high-volume gun dealers. That's not even where he got this. We'll give you the rest of the story. He's coming after Social Security recipients, veterans, and more. The 300,000 killed the last four and a half years, estimated by the UN itself in Syria, most of them by the Syrian opposition rebels who are al-Nazra, al-Qaeda, ISIS. So Obama arms rebels to launch a war and overthrows Libya and overthrows for over a year our ally Egypt and has Christians crucified upside down and funds it all to the Muslim Brotherhood in Kenya. Gets his cousin appointed prime minister in a radical Muslim takeover there. I mean, the globalists are really using this Muslim card big time. And folks know I'm no Islamophobe. I wasn't on that train 15 years ago, five years ago, but... The globalists are going with it. It's incredibly bold. We've been neutralized via political correctness and don't even know how to respond now. We have another campus shooting in Northern Arizona University. One dead, three injured. A fight broke out, so it's more gang, between two groups of students at Northern Arizona University Flagstaff campus, leaving one dead and three hospitalized. And yes, there are 167 on average some years it's more, some less, but the average, look it up, just department's own numbers, 167 people die a year in mass shootings. 200 plus in deer jumping in front of your car, 300 from honeybees, 300 plus from rattlesnakes. It's got to be over 400 plus with water moccasins. Um, it's incredible. Tens of thousands falling in the shower. Do you see the president grandstanding over all of that. No, they want the individual's right to fight a military police state takeover. They want you to live like Southside Chicago, New York, or D.C. with the highest crime rates in the world. D.C. and places like Chicago are some of the highest in the world. Just search Chicago, highest crime rate in the world. Search D.C., second highest crime rate in the world. America's mass shooting capital is Chicago. That's the Daily Beast. Well, actually, it's the world capital. Let's get even more arrogant here. Don't just have the U.S. title. You have the world title. Worse than Mexico, who has the title for a country of the most violent, with total gun bans in the citizens' hands. You see cops everywhere with machine guns. The north, south, the east, the west, I've been everywhere. in Mexico, and they have a total gun ban, and they have the highest gun crime in the world. I think it's seven of the ten families have come out saying, don't come feed off our dead Christian family members. You know why it's all mainly conservatives that are these family members, because they were executed for being Christian. But notice that's not in the media. They took a guy that was part black, part white, 
made his nose smaller, his lips smaller, and made him as white as a ghost, literally, so they could say it was, you know, some type of white attack to make it racial. That's the sick agenda. And here it is, Obama weighs expanding background checks through executive authority, Washington Post, in response to the latest mass shooting during his presidency, not in response, he's using it, President Obama is seriously considering circumventing Congress, key term, circumventing the lawmakers, circumventing the branch of government, that's called dictatorship, with his executive. When an executive circumvents the checks and balances, it's called a dictatorship. Let me read it all without, without adding to it. In response to the latest mass shooting during his presidency, President Obama is seriously considering circumventing Congress with his executive authority and imposing new background check requirements for buyers who purchase weapons from high-volume gun dealers. They've announced they're going to ban up imports. They're going to go after bullets with taxes. They're going to put Social Security recipients on no-gun buy list, and then they have to turn their guns in. That's been announced mainstream news, L.A. Times. They're announcing that they're going to go after guns that weren't registered previous to this. This is the beginning of the confiscation they've practiced in New York, D.C., uh, areas of California. So they're coming, and they admit this is their biggest push ever. Meanwhile, the meme that Drudge helped put out that was already there, but he helped magnify it here on Tuesday, has been picked up by World Net Daily. It's been picked up by The Washington Times. It's been picked up by The New York Post. Uh, it's been picked up by a bunch of publications. And that's the point. Point out the hypocrisy. Armed guards protect Senate Democrats as they demand new gun control laws. Washington Times. Obama, stay out of Roseburg, Oregon. Special report by John Bound that's excellent up on Infowars.com. Pass that around on Facebook. Pass that around on Twitter. Everywhere they go, these Bloomberg people to push taking our guns and, and blaming us for <clears throat> the incredibly rare mass shooting that they seize on every four or five months when it happens, hoping it causes a mental illness cascade and copycat shootings. Another big report from the New American. Gun-free zones contribute to mass slaying, say experts. Very important article to get out to folks. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. I want to talk about a perfect storm today. And the perfect storm I'm going to discuss is a really good perfect storm. I have prayed, literally, to be able to find a high quality gun sponsor that is affordable and that is extremely well made and effective that I can promote to my audience. About six months ago, we get contacted by Head Down Firearms, hdfirearms.com. Low cost compared to competitors. Super high quality, super lightweight, super accurate, and the experts salivate over it and love it. Their entire line of 556, 308, and their accessories are simply amazing, and it's designed by battle-hardened vets that know what they wish they would have had. You need to go to hdfirearms.com today, or you can visit headdownproducts.com. That's headdownproducts.com.